in the production analysis we are going to study what are the types of the inputs up till now we have studied various aspects related to production in which we have studied what is output and what is production average production and like this but this production is not possible without the utilization of various factors of production so what are those factors of production actually those factors of production which give rise to the total output in the various forms in various combinations they are the basical inputs of that production function so in short term we will say that there will be certain inputs and when we will utilize those inputs in various combinations various time frames or we can say in various quantities there will be certain output so these inputs will be transformed through the production function utilizing the production process to the output now these inputs are of various forms so what are the various form of the inputs we can say that there are the basically main four types of the factors of production that has been utilized in the classical economics or the microeconomics number one the above all the main factor of production that is utilized that is land so when land is utilized as a factor of production we can relate this that in the previous historical eras there was always various type of the wars to have more land because that land was the basic essence of the production that land was utilized to have the various pastures and in later stages that land was utilized to have the agricultural farms to forestry or like hunting and like this so that land any tribe or any type of the country when it was having the more land it was assumed that he is rich that country is having more resources or more endowment after this now the second that is the major factor of production that is the labor and labor it means the population the people of that country but out of that population you know that all people they will not be in the working condition if in pakistan we are having more than like 22 uh, million of the people or the 20 we can say jis pe hum generally kehte hain ji 24 crore awam but in that 24 crore awam there will be a certain number of the figure that include small infants some children some school going people those who are not going to have their contribution in production likewise there will be certain disabled there will be certain old age people so in short we can have take all the number of the population or the people as a labor so any country that will have more people and out of that number how many are having more productive capacity how many they are having more literate capacity they are more skilled so that will be the more productive capacity of that country and this is in the macro stance so kisi bhi firm ke paas isi tarah जब ज्यादा वर्कर्स हों हम उस फॉर्म को कहते हैं कि उसका साइज बड़ा है सो द लेबर इज द मेन सेकेंड इनपुट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव एंड द थर्ड इज द कैपिटल सो वट इज द कैपिटल एनी थिंग दैट इज अटेन्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ कैपिटल इट कैन बी एनर्जी इट कैन बी वाटर इट कैन बी फर्टिलाइजर इट कैन बी मशीनरी और इट कैन बी द ब्रिक्स इट कैन बी द स्टील लाइक वाइज सो ऑल दीज ऑस्पेक्ट्स they are in the form of the capital that are purchased or produced from the other parts of the capital and the fourth now it is the most important that has given rise to the actual concept of the firm that is the entrepreneurship means the ability of the certain person to have organizing skill the ability to have the decision power or the ability of certain people to accumulate various resources in the best form so now this entrepreneurial skills that is the main fourth level of the input that we include in our 
production process now coming to this all we can see that these inputs and these inputs on one hand they give us the total level of opportunity and the other side these four inputs they are basically those technical constraints that a firm has to see that with these given resources how much level of the output that firm can produce so these four technical constraints the first above all the land it gives not only to that ground of the natural resources means only the land but this land mean all the resources that are produced from that land mean out of that land how much amount of the crude oil we can extract from land how much amount of the sui gas methane or the other natural elements even sometimes we are having various precious metals that we can extract from that like the gold the diamonds so now this land it does not include only the piece of land rather all types of those inputs that are basically retrieved from that land that will be included in the land and when we say the capital it means this capital it can be any initial good and at the same time that initial good when it is utilized in various combination it can be any intermediate good or it can be any final good so all these produced from the production of one good or something other when but they are utilizing in the production process for that production process they will be the input aur agar main sada alfaz mein kahun to ho sakta hai ki wo capital ka us input ko jisko hum yahan pe input ki shakal de rahe hain wo pehle kisi through firm ya industry se produce ho ke aaya ho तो उस इंडस्ट्री के लिए वो हो सकता है आउटपुट की शक्ल रखता हो लेकिन अगले प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस में वो इनपुट होगा इसकी मिसाल आप बिल्कुल ऐसे ले सकते हैं कि एक किसान के लिए या इन एग्रीकल्चरल बेस में गंदुम के खेत का जो मेन आउटपुट है वो अगर हम देखें तो वो गंदुम है सो हेयर द वीट इट विल बी द आउटपुट फॉर दैट एग्रीकल्चरल फॉर्म लेकिन दैट वीट वेन इट विल बी यूटिलाइज इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द वीट फ्लोर मीन जहाँ पे इसका आटा बनाया जा रहा है तो वहाँ पे हम कहेंगे तो वहाँ इसके लिए हम वर्ड करें यूटिलाइज करेंगे इनपुट का लाइक वाइज कॉटन एक किसान के लिए आउटपुट रखती है उस प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस में जब खाद पानी एंटरप्रोन्योरल स्किल और बीज को इस्तेमाल करके स्प्रेस के साथ हम कॉटन प्रोड्यूस करें बट वेन दैट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ कॉटन इट विल बी यूटिलाइज फॉर द जीनिंग इंडस्ट्री then it will be again an input after that when the cotton lint is utilizing in the spinning industry it will again be an input ab yahan pe jab dhaga ban gaya to wo spinning industry ke liye hum keh sakte hain ki uska ye out output hai but that thread or the yarn when it is utilized in further textile industry for the production of the woven garments so here it will be the input so capital input it can be any primary unit or primary input it can be any intermediate input or it can be any output of the previous setup production process so its definition is very very diverse likewise when we say the labor as i have already explained this labor does not mean only the person here labor can be divided in various forms keeping in view its nature mean female labor force male labor force it can be divided according to time we can say permanent labor we can say seasonal labor and like this and many firms you have seen this pe hum jaise kehte hain night shift morning shift to wo time ke sath labor hoti hai and likewise keeping in view various productivities hum kehte hain skilled labor semi skilled labor non skilled labor and there can be very specialized type of the labor so this labor word it encompasses all types all abilities all skills or any type of the goods and the services jinko humne human level pe tay karna hai aur unko hum kahen ki all sorts of human resources which are utilized in the production process in any form 
that will be the labor and when it comes to the entrepreneurship it is nothing else but the organizing skill or the assembling of the resources so this can be the resources of energy capital or the labor it will be just a skill or a power or a technique or a knowledge that will come under the topic of the entrepreneurship and now coming to that there can be certain types of the input keeping in view the tenure system when we say that there will be certain type of the inputs which will be utilized for certain small time so we will say these are the short run inputs there will be certain which will be utilized for the long run so we will say in the long run likewise there will be certain inputs that will remain fixed throughout the production process so we will name them as fixed inputs and likewise there may be other they are variable that can be changed so they will be the variable input and keeping in view this there is one another term that we utilize that is called the sunk cost and that is related to for only those variables those whose investment once entrepreneur have invested it cannot be retrieved back so we can say for the fixed resources there can be the sunk resources or the sunk input term also utilized in certain scenario so short run production function it also shows the output changes when more labor is utilized but in the long run might be it will not change related to this so these inputs their quantity their quality their various combination that has to be utilized they give rise to various level of the outputs and if we show here in the form of the graphic Form, we can see that there is the total output on the y-axis, and on x-axis we have utilized one variable input, and we see that it is machine operator per day, or we can say it is some other skilled labor like this. That how much amount of the labor that is utilized for the production of that output that is shown here in the form of the genes so over the time we see that in the start input is going to increase from 1 to 2 to 3 units and now the output is going to increase at a very higher rate then further there is increase in the input and output is going to increase but not at that much higher rate as like the previous and then after again we see that the input is going to increase and output again increasing but at further decline in the rate of the change so this is the process or the various response of the output to the various inputs